Hey everybody, happy Thursday. I'm sorry. I'm on here so late today. Today, um, I, I was, uh, writing my book. I was trying to get stuff done when it came to my book. So I was doing it. So I dearly apologize on, you know, coming on here today. I, I just basically want to talk about, you know, I don't really know. You know what I'm saying? I basically want to talk about things that's going on in, in, in relationships and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, as I told y'all before, my ex had, uh, me and my ex had been talking over the phone and stuff like that. We had been conversations, you know, I still consider him as a friend, but I don't consider him as a boyfriend. Uh, I feel like my ex feel upset, you know, sometimes like, cause sometimes I call and check up on him and he'll just sit there and hold the phone. But I call and check up on him to make sure he, he's okay. Because I don't know if I told y'all this in the form of documents, my ex, uh, his mother passed away. So I try to be there for him, you know, just try to just be his friend. You know, like I said, uh, it was I was talking to somebody earlier today and I was telling them how I'm not looking for a relationship. You know, in my book, it tells you, you know, how I'm, I'm when I'm writing my book, how I'm going back and forth. I talk about my ex and I talk about other exes of mine, you know, because at first I wasn't going to put them in the book, but I ended up putting them in the book. So, uh, to make a long story short, uh, I ended up talking about them. And to make it be about the situation, I never did explain why I didn't want them in the book at first. At first, I didn't want my answers in the book because I didn't know if I was disrespecting them, but it came out to be, I wasn't disrespecting them. That was a part of my life. That was a part of what I'm going through. And if that's a part of what I'm going through and then that's just a part of what I'm dealing with. Um, People ask, was asked to me, well, do you get lonely now? Well, the question was, when they asked me this question, do I get lonely now? Yes, I still get lonely, but just because a person get lonely doesn't necessarily mean they they want to be in a relationship. Because it it came to reality that I just didn't want to be in several relationships because I just didn't want to be more of them. Oh, y'all, excuse me. Oh, uh, because I just didn't want to be more of them. Um, I just wanted to be... I just wanted to be... Be me. You understand what I'm saying? I just want to be me. I think the last time I broke up with my ex, that was it. You know, my ex had cheated on me 12 times. I know 12 times he kept going back and forth with his, uh, his, um, lovers, his ex lovers. And I just, uh, I just didn't want to deal with it. And I find, I find that I'm a loyal person and I'm a nice person. And I feel like that. Why should I have to deal with the fact that you doing you doing all of this? You know what I'm saying? Just to not just, I, I, I don't know what the word is. I don't know why he was going back to this. I, I was just finding my ways. Like you know, me and my mama was talking, and she was talking about some things. How she was sitting there saying that you know sometimes you stay in relationships and you just don't want to leave because you don't you don't have nowhere else to go. And I thought about it. Well, maybe that was the issue. Maybe <clears throat> that was it. I just did not want to leave. And I could have been on left him. When I say left him, I could have, I been on, could have broke up with him because I had my own place. I had my own vehicle. What did I need him for? Nothing. I didn't need him for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I just loved him and I loved, I had just loved being with him. Because he was my heart and he was my soul. And I felt like that me being who I am, that was the only person that I could get. You know, but come to find out, it was other people that dated me. 
you know, if y'all see me, y'all see my teeth knocked out and everything. And as my teeth knocked out and everything, I thought it was nobody would talk to me. I think, and I thought, okay, I was in the hospital to be, I think I was on Adam for Adam and this guy, he reached out to me. But then too, the first guy that reached out to me, I feel like the only thing that he wanted from me was money. But then it was other guys that reached out to me, wanted to get to know me as me. But I didn't want, I didn't, I wasn't, I'm not, I wasn't, I wasn't looking for no more relationships. You know, I'm, I was at the, I'm, I'm done. You know, I'm like, okay, we can be in a relationship, but we can be. <coughs> excuse me, living apart because I don't want to be with someone. You know, I just want to live apart. Um. Because I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be living with nobody. You know, I just want to just, you know, live apart. You know, I don't want to be, um, I just didn't want to be in a relationship anymore. You know, I just wanted to be, uh, living apart, you know what I'm saying? If I just want, this is what I want. I just want this, y'all. I just want this. If we be together, I feel like, um, I want us just to be apart. You stay in your home or your house and I live in mine. So, I just didn't want to be, I, I just, I was uh, tired. I was, I was tired. Um, you know, like, you know, when you tired, of being with someone and at the end of the day, that uh you don't you don't um want to be in a relationship because you could be hurt so much that you um you you don't trust nobody. And I think that's what happened to me. You know, I was just like hurt so much that it, it, I just didn't trust nobody. I, and I said so much to the fact that I don't trust nobody. You know, uh I was hurt so much to um, everything that that happened in the past. You know, you, you just don't, you just don't want to go through it anymore. I just think that. I just thank God for me waking up in the morning. I thank God for me blessing to see another day. But it's like, I'm not looking for a relationship. Y'all, I'm not even look, really looking to talk to nobody. If I tell you that I don't even have no chat lines on my phone, that's how bad it is. I ain't got no chat lines on my phone. I don't have no uh, dating apps. I don't have none of that because I'm not, I'm not dealing with it. I think even if I was up walking and I had my own car, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be trying to figure that out. I wouldn't be doing all of that. 
Because I be looking like, mm, I ain't trying to go there. So, you know, that's that's all it is with me. I'm just like living my life and trying to do me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to be grateful for what I got and be grateful for who I am. You know, because all through my life, I have been through a lot. I've been through a lot. You know, and I'm so proud, y'all, of this book that I'm writing. That it's, it's so, I feel like it's going to be a success book. And I'm so happy about this book. I can't wait to see if it get published, which I know it's probably is. It probably takes some time. And I just can't wait to see how everybody's going to be proud of me about this book. Because I never, when I just sit down and decided to write this book, I decided not to because at one point, because I feel like it wasn't going to do me no good, but then everybody stood behind me and said, my right, boy, sit down and write this book. And so that's what I did. But I'm going to just say this. I love y'all. Bye.